Today, Illinois lawmakers heard around four hours of testimony at a public hearing on House Bill 5855. The legislation has multiple pieces to it, including a ban on assault style weapons and raising the age for most Illinoisans to carry a gun from 18 to 21. If passed, the bill would also ban extended magazines and allow people to petition for a one year firearm restraining order rather than the six month orders currently in place. We heard from four panels, including data experts and researchers, shooting survivors, leaders of grassroots efforts, and several other members of the public who testified. At one point, the Illinois Criminal Justice Information Authority laying out statistics on shooting deaths and the lethality based on weapon used. They say since the federal assault ban expired, mass shooting deaths have spiked 500%. The push for stricter legislation comes months after the Highland Park mass shooting that left seven dead and dozens injured. Many who support the new legislation mentioning that killing along with other recent shootings where high power weapons were used, including Uvalde, Texas and Buffalo, New York. While many who testified expressed support for the ban on assault weapons, they also called for more resources for the outreach efforts working to reduce gun violence in the community every day. As with any legislation that is this ambitious, there's a number of really, really valuable uh, changes that we should be considering in the next legislative session. I'm all for the ban of assault weapons. You know what I'm saying? I wish all guns is off the streets. That's not reality. You know, and if this ban was to take effect, still we we got hearts that need to be changed, minds that need to be changed. Several people also spoke out against parts of the bill, like raising the age to get a FOID card to 21. Others argued the ban on assault weapons would infringe on Second Amendment rights. While the name itself seems innocent, there are concerns with it as being unconstitutional. It doesn't protect citizens in a immediate or possibly long term. And it doesn't reinforce current laws or regulations that are already in place. The law would also address illegal gun trafficking in the state and how state police would enforce the laws. When asked if ISP supports the bill, lawmakers didn't specify, only saying state police director Brendan Kelly is expected to testify next week. Now, if this measure were to pass, it would join other states like California and New York who have enacted similar laws previously. Rep Bob Morgan, who introduced the legislation, says he hopes to pass this early next month. Reporting in the Loop, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.